and welcome. This is Manifestation Mastery Course, video 33A. So, uh, the title of this is How to Manifest Consistently. And, and then in a subtitle I have, You Can Do It Every Time. So, uh, before we go any further, if you're interested in learning how to manifest your exact deepest desires, your greatest fantasies on a consistent basis, subscribe hit the bell button so you know whenever I've uploaded a video. And then we've got the links up here. People ask me all the time, they want questions. One person wanted to know which was my first book and asked, you know, which, and I just said, all you have to do is go to these links. Courses.thunderwizard.com will show you everything that I have, books, videos, um, services, everything. And then neo.thunderwizard.com will give you the tools to be able to manifest everything all the time consistently. So, um, you know, I've been giving a lot of very specific tools. By the way, you need to watch this whole video all the way to the end because then I'm going to direct you to how you can get to all of the meat and potatoes applications, uh, the practical applications for all the stuff that we talk about uh, in the Manifestation Mastery course. Um, but we need to address our intellect. If we live in the Western uh, world, we are dominated by our intellect, which means if we think we understand it, then we give ourselves permission to do it. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to talk about how to manifest consistently every time to get the life of your dreams. So, you know, just to qualify here a little bit, this is me in this exact house that I'm at right now. I've just moved again to the new house. What I'm doing is I'm, um, I am surfing up and down the coast of Australia. And uh, I came out here almost a year ago, probably 10, 11 months ago, because somebody suggested I should check it out. Because I wasn't happy with what I, where my life was going and what I was doing. I mean, I had some good stuff, but there were some things missing. and. One of the things that I've been always wanting to do is to just travel around the world and surf. So I came here and this was the first place that I came to was this house. And this is me a year ago on the deck right there in this house. And you can see how happy I was because look at it. I mean, it's kind of hard to see in that picture because it's so uh, bright, but you can see the palm trees in the background, and that's like the front yard of the, uh, or the deck that overlooks that yard. And this is actually what it looks like. You can see off in the distance is the ocean. and um, It's just, uh, it feels like a tropical paradise. You know, this, this particular part of where I'm at feels a lot like Hawaii. There's palm trees everywhere, and kind of though there's stone, you know, fences around people's houses, and it's... And um, I got up this morning and I simply woke up and I did a little bit of yoga and stretching and I uh, drank some protein drink and some vitamins and I just grabbed my surfboard and walked down to the beach and surfed perfect waves for as long as my body could hold out. And when I couldn't paddle anymore, I came in and uh, relaxed and had a massage and then, um, you know, came back here and ate some dinner and uh, relaxed and, and now I'm making a video. This is my life. This is what I do for a living. You know, just to give you an idea, again, I, I'm doing this not to show off. I'm doing this to qualify, to show you that I actually have accomplished what I say uh, I'm teaching to you. I, I only teach things that I myself have accomplished. If I haven't been able to practically apply it and make it happen, I don't teach it. I'm still learning. So that's the other benefit here, too. So. Uh, this is right across the street. I'm actually one house in from the the Esplanade there, but uh, you go around, you know, down and there's, you know, in front of my house. That's what that the ocean that you're looking over is right there. I took that, um, you know, just before I got back here. You know, the sun has gone down, but the sun was going down then and there was a big full moon. Let's see if we can see the big full moon out there. Yeah, and that's from another direction there. That's just right in front of my house. Just some really great waves and surfing. And you can't, can you see the moon? Yeah, right. If you look in the very center, that little white dot, that's the full moon that's rising up from the east there. And, uh, you know, this is, this is my life. 
This is how I'm living my life. So you are designed to be able to manifest everything that you truly want. You're designed to be able to do it. The human body is more than just this meat bag that your soul resides in. It is actually a highly uh, developed instrument. And if you understand how to use it, it will magnify your intentions and create everything that you want. Um, we talk about this a lot. So if you're interested in learning about all the specifics, I recommend you go to thunderwizard.com and uh, sign up for the Manifestation Mastery Course. You can also sign up at the lower level if you just want to learn the basics of shamanism, where I talk about how our body is designed. And I learned this because I trained with masters from India, from uh, China, from Africa, and then I've done my own research. And I've learned many things in my own research and in my own experience. I've taken those things that they've taught me and I've expanded on them. And one of the things that I've learned is that the human body is a very powerful instrument for manifesting uh, energy. And you are made up not of one soul, but you're made up of three energy centers. I talk about this at length. I'm only just going to briefly go over it, but you have three centers. You have your upper center, which is what people call their third eye. You have your heart center. And then you have your lower center, and I'm touching my navel. Lower center is where the real power is. That's where your unconscious and subconscious minds are. They're two different minds. People get confused. Follow my course. You'll know the difference between the subconscious and the unconscious. The unconscious is where all the power is. But you reside right here in the middle center. We call it the soul. You are a soul. But you have these two powers. They're actually uh, essences that have their own consciousness, your upper self and your lower self. And they work in combination, all three of them. When you have all three of them in communication working together, you can instantly manifest your reality. The truth is you're always manifesting your reality. The question is, are you manifesting the reality that you want? Or are you manifesting the reality that your unconscious chaos, that unconscious means you're not aware of it, what your unconscious is throwing out there for you, all the chaos and misery and nonsense. You know, it's uh, the law of attraction um, science as it's being taught is very incomplete because they're not understanding that you have three minds. They don't understand that you have three selves. So when they say that all you have to do is just put happy thoughts into your subconscious, they don't even know which is the difference between subconscious and unconscious. If you just put happy thoughts in your subconscious, then you'll create that. If you have negative thoughts in your subconscious, you'll create that. That's just completely untrue. It's not that superficial and simple. Because if you're watching this, I'm willing to bet that you have tried all of those things and you have had, at best, you have had mixed results, right? Okay, you can actually be able to manifest everything you truly desire on a consistent basis. And this is what I want to share with you how to do today. So um, the real the first question is, all right, Mike, you say that uh, we're designed to manifest everything that we truly desire all the time. Why don't we? I talk about this a lot, but that in a short sentence comes down to your childhood programming and to some extent your past life karma. I won't get into that if that's too out there for you because I, like I said, I'm all about practical application. If you can't practically apply it, I'm not interested. If I can't practically apply it, there's no point in teaching it. I only teach what I know I have applied in my life and what I know works and this works. So why doesn't it work? Because you are programmed as a little kid to please people, your parents, society, God. Those are, those are the three big ones. And people don't realize this. Even people who are creating total misery for themselves, homeless people, 
people who are in abusive relationships, they keep going after the abusive relationships, people who are alone, who are chronically poor, who are ill. Um, you are manifesting all of those negative, uh, unpleasant things because on an unconscious level, you think that's what you have to do to be loved. It's okay with me if you don't understand what I just said or if that doesn't, because it's not, there's a difference between your conscious mind, what you are aware of, and your unconscious mind, what you're not aware of. So, um, that's that's the first thing you need to know and that's why just having happy feelings or trying to falsely generate happy feelings is going to do nothing because your true manifest of powers comes from your unconscious mind now if your unconscious mind is filled with a bunch of negative programming that you adopted as a little kid we're talking three four years old because that's what mommy and daddy want from you. You know, your, your father was constantly uh, sitting around getting drunk all the time and complaining about taxes and the government and why he didn't get a break and all of that. And so you got the message that in order for daddy to love you, you had to be as much of a screw up as he is. And so you're playing that out now. You're playing out this, I'm just, you're playing the same thing. You're press play you're saying the same things that your dad said this is just an example i know i'm talking to somebody out there the government this and now it's not the just the government it's the elites it's the rothschilds it's the it's the bankers it's the it's the gray aliens it's it's the devil it's uh it's you know pick it it's the clintons it's it's trump they're all doing it to you, and that's why you can't make it. You're just repeating what you heard as a little kid, and you're playing that part because you still, uh, that three and four year old in your unconscious, the unconscious is, an, is a toddler. Everybody's unconscious is a toddler. Your unconscious is trying to please mommy and daddy. You have no idea that that's what you're doing. That's the main reason. So in order, you have to go in, be able to go into your unconscious mind, flip those things around, and learn how to change your, uh, who it is that you want to get love from. This is why when people have a conversion experience with religion, it is so hugely impactful. Because that's what they're trying to do. It's really not. It's a very ineffective way. And I won't get into that. You can watch all my movies about religion to learn about that. But that's basically why, you know, people who are drug addicts and alcoholics and gamblers and, you know, they, they convert and they confess Jesus and they become a Christian. They become a born again Christian and they get their moral life together. And it's hugely impactful because they're switching who they, who they want love from their unconscious parental figures to now Jesus. They want Jesus love. So to get Jesus love, they have to live Jesus life and go to church and not drink and not smoke and not gamble and not party and not, you know, go to Vegas and that kind of stuff. It doesn't fix it because they still end up doing the same thing. They just find other people that victimize them. They have the devil. The devil is doing it to them. So they have to fight with the devil. And so it doesn't really fix the problem. But that's why. Because they switch in their unconscious mind. It's a very powerful uh, ritualistic way to switch who they're trying to get love from. Now the ultimate is to get love from yourself. It's the hardest thing to do. In order to get to the place where you want love from yourself, by self I mean your own soul, when you can make your own soul the focal point of your desire to gain love and acceptance, then, then you will have the ability to reprogram your unconscious mind. And then you will be able to clean out all of that old false programming. You know, I'm going to share a story with you. Some, uh, somebody shared with me, uh, they had a, a very abusive mother, really abusive, like, you know, like the kind of, you, you don't want to have this as a, as a mother did not do a good job as a mother. Now this person 
I have a great deal of respect for, and this this person has done a lot of internal work, both spiritual and psychological, and has gotten himself together and is a very powerful teacher in his own right. And he shared this story about when his mother lost, you know, what is that when you when you become senile? She became senile and forgot who she was. And she would, you know, she'd wake up in a senile state, not remembering who she was. And she was really wonderful and sweet to everybody, to all of the, you know, the the nurses and the people taking care of her and all of that. And then she'd, you know, take a nap or whatever and wake up and, and be back in her old mentality. And then she'd be screaming and yelling and, and punching, like, uh, you know, people in the face. <laughs> because the old idea of who, who she thought she was came back into her mind. It you know, you're carrying around this false identity of who you think you are. And it's been programmed based on who you want to get love from. You know, it's, I mean, I know that I've caught myself doing it. And I remember in high school watching somebody because I knew him and I knew his dad and I would watch how his dad was and his dad would do this thing and he'd get this look on his face and he'd start complaining and he'd do this. And my friend, I remember he would have these glimpses of humanity where he would tap into some feelings and he would open up. And then I'd see that same look just come over his face. He was pretending to be his dad because that's the role model that showed him who a strong male was. It's just a character that you're playing. Now, it's easy for me to say that it's just a character, just stop doing it. But the fact is, it's not that easy to stop because the desire to get love is the most powerful desire there is. It's what it's 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 what fuels everything. And so if you can do the same thing to yourself that religion does for people, which is you switch who you want to get love from. In this case, you want to get love from your own soul. But in order to do that, you got to face all of the self-sabotaging feelings and thoughts and patterns that you have. Okay, we won't get into that. But that's the first thing that uh, we got to do here is we've got to uh, we've got to understand the childhood programming in our unconscious. I've already talked about the three selves. When you can do that, what ends up happening then is you open up a communication between your higher self, your lower self, and your middle self in that order. The higher self gets gets information from the ancestors, the gods, the elves, the shining ones, the ascended masters, whatever word you want to use. That information goes directly to your lower self, where your subconscious and your unconscious mind is. And if you're programmed with a bunch of garbage in there, your unconscious mind will reject it. And the moment that your unconscious mind rejects that, then the communication between the three selves is broken. And then these, the unconscious mind creates all of your chaos. And then no matter how hard you try, you can't get healthy, you can't get your money in order, you can't find love, you can't it's because all the chaos of your unconscious mind is now controlling everything. All of the feeling good seminars you go to and all of the positive affirmations in the world most likely will not change any of that. Because if you're watching this, you're obviously not having 100% success. I, I am. I, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm telling you, I'm living, I, you know, today... Again, that just blows my mind. I mean, I've just this these past couple of months have been the best surfing of my life. And and I'm here on this, you know, semi-tropical paradise here in a part of uh, of Australia that's just amazing. The people are really friendly. There's all up and down. I mean, there's just miles of empty beach with perfect waves just peeling. There's point breaks and you know, it's just it's a surfer's dream. And I woke up this morning, as I said, and I walked out and, and, and as I, you know, I came in and I just looked at the beach and I looked at the beautiful rocks and the points and then the beach and the happy people and, the, you know, uh, and I just took it all in. And I can do that because I don't have those same programming ruling me. Now, that stuff is still there, but it's not ruling me anymore. It's like it's echoes and I have to listen to it and we'll talk about that. So 
Um, you got to get the three selves communicating right. I teach you how to do that in this course. Um, one of the biggest things that comes up is that people manifest the wrong desire. This is coming from the same thing. I'm willing to bet. In fact, I don't even not even willing to bet. I am absolutely certain that there are people watching me now who think they know what they want. And you try and manifest it and you can't. There are two reasons that you can't manifest things. One is your unconscious mind has a different programming and it will veto whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. If you've been programmed to hate money or to feel unworthy uh, about having money, you can have happy feelings about becoming a millionaire all you want. Your unconscious mind will veto it every time. The other one is that people um, don't understand what their soul wants. And so they try to manifest things they think they want, like people who want to win the lottery. And I've had people come to me this, if I can just win the lottery, I'll be okay. Well, what is it that you want most? What is your deepest desire? To have a million dollars. Well, why? Well, because then if I had a million dollars, then I could buy my kids what they wanted and my husband what they want and my mom what she wants. And then I nobody would be on my case anymore. And then I'd finally be free to do whatever I want. It doesn't work like that. There's only one God in the world, and that's your soul. Meaning the only God that you can truly worship is your own soul. You can't worship mine because that's that's my soul. So it's the exact opposite of what they tell you in religion, that there's one God out there that everybody must worship. And if you don't worship that one God, not only will he hate your guts and put you in uh, hell forever, but all the other people will hate you as well, because then you'll be a whatever it is, an, an unbeliever. And they will come and chop your head off and videotape it and put it up on whatever, Facebook or whatever, and say, you know, God is great. Christians do it, you know, all the Christians, Muslims, you know, all the, the crazy monotheists do it. They're right. There is only one God, your soul. So when you learn how to worship your own soul and communicate and love your own soul and be loved by your own soul, you'll know what it is you truly want. So a lot of people don't know that because they, they don't have that understanding. Now your soul is continuously communicating this to you, but you have a different program in your unconscious mind which keeps vetoing the soul. The soul and your, your unconscious mind get into a conflict that creates disease, um, chronic pain, it creates poverty, misery, dysfunction, alcoholism, drug addiction, all of that stuff comes from the unconscious mind and the soul at odds. You do it to yourself. So learning what the true desire is, is very important. After cleansing the unconscious, then, and, and, and when you start practicing this and you learn how to do this, then in order to stay on that, then you learn how to keep yourself spiritually empowered. This is what meditation is about. Meditation is not emptying the mind. That is the result of successful meditation. When you do all the work that I'm talking about, and then you do meditation, which is not emptying your mind, the end result is you will have this peace of mind where you, will be, you won't be constantly having all that garbage coming up in your head. Now, you will still be human, which means that garbage will still come up in your head, but, but you will be able to find ways to get to that state. I have numerous ways of doing it. Surfing is one of them. That's why I keep talking about it all the time. You can do mantra as well. You can go up here to um, courses.thunderwizard.com and click on the astrology. And, and uh, if you want, I or one of my apprentices can give you a precise mantra that is tuned to your specific vibration that will help clear out your unconscious mind so you'll know what it is your soul wants and know what it is you truly want and you'll be able to intend it. Doing things like Qigong, Celestial Qigong, courses.thunderwizard.com, click on the Qigong. That is tapping directly into the life force of the universe, which will also uh, give you that same state of meditation. 
which will also give you the power and the understanding to connect to your soul and intend your reality up through your third eye. And then part of the maintenance is, and this is where I'm at, is you always seek to upgrade your manifestation. Now, sometimes you get to the place where you're like, no, I have everything I want. I've been in that place a few times. And that's okay. You just keep doing your work. and But then you ask yourself, hmm, what is it that I want? And you'll realize that there will be an upgrade. There'll be something new. It's a new adventure. Your soul will want to experience a new adventure or an upgrade to your existing adventure. Maybe you're married and you decide you want to have kids. That's not my thing, but that might be your thing. My next thing is after I've been here for a while, I'm going to go to a completely different continent. I'm going to go to New Zealand and spend the summer hiking in those beautiful mountains and in those woods and surfing. they got some great surfing there. And then I'll upgrade again. Do I want to come back here? I really like it here. I'm very happy here. Do I want to go someplace else? Do I want to go to Bali, Fiji? You know, where do I want to go? I can do this. As long as I have internet, I can, I can make a living. And you can, you can uh, if you choose to, listen, you can do whatever you want. Some people love to work really hard. Great, whatever it is that makes you happy. I don't. I like to spend my time focused on surfing. That's my, just what I want to do. Spending time in the ocean, around the ocean, in nature. I've got all that stuff here. I can take walks in the, in the bush here. You know, we call it the forest, but they call it the bush. Um, yeah, I can go walking into beautiful forests like that. That was uh, outside my front door in the other house I was at. Um, so whatever it is that makes you happy, you can upgrade. You can continue to upgrade your manifestation. But I want you to understand that manifestation is not something that should be difficult. It's the easiest thing in the world. You know, my, uh, my partner, who's no longer with me, she said to me once, I said this a couple of times actually, but you know, we were, uh, we were out and having a beautiful lunch on the beach in California where I lived at the time. And she said, you know, you're not human. And I said, what are you talking about? She said, you have this ability to just decide what you want. And then even though it's impossible for you to have it, you end up getting it. And I said, what? What do you, I, I didn't know what she was talking about. She said, you know, whatever it was last week or two weeks ago or whatever it was, you sat here and you were upset about something. You didn't have something in your life. And you said, you know what? I want to have, and you listed off what you wanted. And now you have it. And there was no way for you to get it. And I thought about it and I said, you're right. And I, you know, I didn't realize it at the time, but I had learned because I had done all this work and I've done all this work cleaning up my unconscious. I've done the meditation, the mantra, the Qigong. I've done, I've continuously examined and come to realize that making my soul is the, making my soul happy is the most important thing. And if I listen to my soul, my soul will tell me everything that I want. And then if I go after it, I'll get that. And even better than that, that has been the case for me. This, pet, this trip, you know, if you go back and watch my videos, you'll hear me talking about this trip and all that I was going through and all the fears and everything that I was going through and, you know, getting rid of all my stuff and, and you know, just putting everything into a suitcase and getting on a plane and not knowing what was going to happen. And it has absolutely paid off. I've, I've never had so much amazing just daily surf, it's just crazy. Crazy, wonderful. Um, but the point is, is that, you know, I, I, getting back to the story, is that I realized, thinking about it, when she told me that, I realized she's right. And then I, I wanted to know, how did I do it? And I realized that all that I did was, I was unhappy about something and I was complaining about something. And I've come to learn, and I was coming to learn, I hadn't formulated it in my mind at that time yet, but I was coming to learn that if I'm complaining about something, it's because there's something that I want that I don't have. And the thing to do is to stop complaining, because that just justifies where you're at, to stop complaining and to ask yourself what it is that you want. 
Now, what I found out is that when I'm in that state of complaining that this isn't happening and that's not happening and eh, these people and that, that what's really going on is that there's something that I want that I don't feel worthy of having. And all that anger and the, the complaining is justifying that pattern that says you're not worthy. That's too much. That's too, you don't deserve that. And I stopped. And I, that's, that's when I said out loud, you know what I want? I want, and I listed all the things that I wanted, knowing that I was fighting with myself about that. And then I just gave it up. And then I got back and enjoyed my lunch and I didn't complain and I let it go. I stopped thinking about it. When you get to this place where you have done all the work aligning your unconscious mind, aligning you to your soul desire, dealing with all of the issues that are going to come up, because what they don't tell you in the law of attraction is that when you become aware of what you truly want, you are going to go through a lot of unconscious resistance, meaning your unconscious mind is going to try and talk you out of it. Uh, I've shared this before, but one of the most sad clients, for me it was sad, saddening experience with a client I ever had. Somebody had uh, wanted to get one of my services, which is to help you find your, your career, which is you can go to, to both of these. Uh, you can go to... Um, neo.thunderwizard.com and click on the first one. That'll take you to how to find what your perfect career is, which is the same as finding out what your soul desire is. And what I do in that hour is I ask you a series of questions and um, I can then determine what it is your true soul desire is. Now, I'm actually not the one determining it. You're figuring it out. I just listen to you. I can tell when you're hedging and when you're fighting with something and I go in like a shark, I start digging away and we come up with this beautiful, bright, shining gem, which is your soul desire. But then you have to go take action to get it. That's going to potentially be a problem because then all of your feelings are going to come up. Remember I said earlier that the most important thing is for us to be loved. And whoever it is that we want love from, that's what we design our life around. If your parents have told you that it's stupid to be a ballerina or it's not practical to do this or you shouldn't spend your life traveling around the world surfing and talking on YouTube for a living, then what's going to happen is you're going to have all kinds of feelings about that and you're going to stop yourself. You're going to talk yourself out of it. And that's challenging. And that's where the meditation comes in and the mantra and the qigong because you have to get the spiritual power to overcome your own unconscious self-sabotage. So um, I've learned to do that. Now, I still have all that stuff comes up. That's why when I get in those little complaining things, it means that there's something really amazing that I want that I'm not allowing myself to deserve. So uh, I always seek to upgrade. And what I do now, now that I've gotten to the place where I'm at now, is if I'm upset about something or if I feel something's not quite right or if I'm bored, you know, uh, and I have all the things that I've asked for up to that point, I'll stop and I'll say, what is it that I want? And sometimes I don't know. Now, you're probably like me. When I get into those places, I can tell I'm getting into that place because one of the first things that, that starts happening is I start thinking, I want more money. You know, if I had a million dollars, you start, start talking to yourself like that. If I had a million dollars, that's guaranteed that you are in conflict with yourself about what your soul wants. Your soul is wanting something even more wonderful. But because you don't feel you deserve it, you think, well, I have to become a millionaire. If I win the lottery, then I'll be a millionaire and then I can buy whatever I want. The universe doesn't work like that. I was uh, telling you about one of the saddest uh, clients I had. It was a woman who... I asked her all the questions and I said, what is it that you truly want under these conditions? Blah, blah, blah. And um, she, it's actually, I say blah, blah, blah. It's actually very important. What is it that if you could have anything you wanted, you didn't have to please anybody, you didn't have to work for any money, and you didn't have to do anything to make anybody else happy. If you could do anything you wanted right now, what is the one thing you would want? And she knew. She said, I want to, uh, I want to create a dance and I want to do it in an auditorium full of people. And I want there to be music. And I want there to be media, like like a multimedia presentation. And I want to empower people 
to, to go after their dreams. And as she was describing to me in detail how she would do the dance, because she, she used to be a ballerina, and she wanted to dance again, and she wanted to do all this. And as she was describing it, I'm not lying to you, I started tearing up. It was so amazing. And I said to her, without kidding, I said, I said, how much? I will come to that. I want to see that. I need to see that. How much? Where? And then by the end of that conversation, she had talked herself out of it. She said, no, what I really need to do is I really need to learn how to, you know, master the Internet and make a lot of money on the Internet. And then maybe if I have enough money, but, you know, I'm too old and I'm too this and I'm too that. And she, you know, and it, it, it makes me really sad just talking about it. Really sad. Because your soul desire, the thing that your soul wants to do is what everybody wants from you. It's going to be the thing that people will pay money for to experience from you. And so all of the chaos and all of the drama and all of the misery that you may be experiencing, the poverty, the misery, and all of the, you know, the all those people out there, the Clintons and the aliens and the devil who are destroying your life, that's all just a self-justification because somebody somewhere told you you didn't deserve to have your deepest soul desire. And so in order to keep their love, even if they're dead or gone or if it's just an idea in your head, you're still making yourself miserable in order to get their love. And the only love you need to get is the love of your own soul. And that's really the bottom line of everything that I teach. Even all the shamanism, all of the, the ritual, all of the stuff that I teach is to bring you back to be in love with your soul. And when you're in love with your soul and you listen to your soul, the universe comes together and gives you everything you've ever wanted. I swear to you, beyond your wildest dreams. And I'm not done with this adventure that I'm having. I am not done. I'm going to keep upgrading my my fantasy, you know, and so for those of you who have been watching me from, you know, if you watch me from now, what is it, three, four, five, six months ago when I started, when I made this decision, now you can see, because I said to you, I didn't know how this was going to turn out. You can prove me wrong, and I was telling you the theory of how I thought it was going to work, and it has been exactly that. It's been unbelievable absolutely unbelievable so um, if you want to have a deeper understanding of what I've been explaining and I need you to go to thunderwizard.com and I need you to click on manifestation mastery course yes I want you to subscribe to my course there are videos on there that, are, that aren't on this free YouTube channel where I go in-depth, I give you specific, practical, shamanic applications, rituals, tools, little hacks here and there that work. And I want you to subscribe because I only want to give those gems to people who really want it. How do I know you really want it? You really want it if you subscribe. If you don't subscribe, then either you don't want it or you don't think that I'm telling you the truth, that either I'm deluded or I'm whatever, which is fine. You can have that opinion of, of me. I, I am not here. I swear I do not care for having any kind of following. People who have tried to connect with me know I'm not interested in getting a following. I'm not trying to be some guru. I do this. You want to know why I do this? I do this work because I've come to realize this is my soul's destiny. I do it because I believe I have a responsibility. It's the only reason I do it. If it were up to me, I wouldn't do anything. I would sit on the beach and surf and sleep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. But the great thing is, if you are able to figure out what your soul desire is, and if you have the discipline 
and the fearlessness and the commitment to do what your soul is telling you to do, the universe will hand you everything that you need, the money, the friends, the resources, the health, whatever it is that you need to achieve that, you will be given that. So people who think that, that what makes them happy is to, to win the lottery don't understand that you already have won the lottery. Your soul ha is infinite. And, you know, I'm, I'm living here in, in this, this house. This is the, the house I'm living in right now. And I'm spending half of what I was spending on rent before I came out here. And, um, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's already everything that I need. I have plenty of money in the bank. I'm not a millionaire. But when I got honest about everything that I want, I can easily get it. I have more than enough resources. So there's plenty of people out there that have a lot more money than me. And they also are working themselves to death. They have no time. They have no health. They're not happy. They're afraid they're going to lose all the stuff that they're working for. There's a, uh, a friend of mine that I know out here was telling me about an extremely wealthy couple who had two houses over here and there was a, a brush fire that took out a big chunk of, uh, you know, some expensive estates up here. And I thought about them, you know, I think one of their houses might have got burned up. I can't remember, but, you know, stuff isn't what it's about. Your soul has a blank check for you. It will write you a blank check, but you first have to figure out how to hear it and how to take action on it. So go over to thunderwizard.com, click on Manifestation Mastery Course and subscribe, and then watch the B video. There's an A video on this channel and all the B videos are on the other channel. I believe this is 33A. So look for 33B, okay? And you can check, check out the link, subscribe, hit the bell button. All right, I'll see you over at thunderwizard.com. Right, where's my little, why don't we put up the rainbow here?